So now uh, there is one discussion I want you to know about from geomorphology. Okay, uh, what are equilibrium theories in uh, slope and land form development? So remember six seven points. Okay, number one point to remember, please that. Equilibrium theories, okay, are actually variants of historical and time-based theories. Equilibrium theories, okay, these are mostly process and structure-based theories. So, equilibrium theories are number one. I said they are variants. No, no, I'm sorry, not variants. They are alternatives. to historical time based theories they are basically process and structure based theories they are a rejection of davis model equilibrium theories are based on okay acha ye ho gaya they will say that equilibrium theories what are they they essentially interpret landforms as products of interacting processes processes and factors and landforms and landforms are expressions expressions of uh, such interactions okay they interpret landforms as products of interacting processes and factors so there are some processes which are interacting and they are expressions of such interactions okay this implies a landforms landforms do not necessarily will change in time okay this is this implies the landforms do not necessarily okay will change in time that landforms will not progressively denude and flatten progressively what i'm saying is that if this is the landform okay what does davis model say davis model says that this landform will get eroded it will continuously get eroded and the landform has a height here in time the height will redu reduce will reduce and become flat okay this is what davis model says so if i am plotting so in davis model if i plot on one axis i am plotting time on other another axis i am plotting say absolute height in davis model the height will continuously change towards the base level this is the base level so with increasing time the height will keep on decreasing but what we are saying is that equilibrium theory says that this is not correct okay why because landforms are not the product of time okay this is wrong landforms are product of what processes landforms are product of certain interacting factors okay hence hence the landform is essentially a type of that interaction that we have so what this means is what this means is the landforms shape and height is more is more related to is more related to efforts to achieve achieve a balance between the factors and the processes that influence it okay so landforms shape and a landforms height is more related to the landform trying to achieve a balance between the factors and the processes that influence it this ka matlab kya hua landforms can change in three ways their height can increase their height can decrease their height can remain constant and you can also say four ways or the height can keep on fluctuating okay between balance between factors and processes that influence it 
Landforms shape and landforms height are related to efforts to achieve a balance between factors and processes that influence it. Vijay Singh, this is the okay crux of the equilibrium theory. को जरूरी नहीं है a landform will keep on decreasing its height. A landform will have progressive decline in its elevation. This is not necessary. This is the essence of equilibrium theory. Some of the equilibrium models are okay. So, what are the examples of equilibrium based models? Remember three, four names. Number one is remember the name of G. K. Gilbert. Number two is J. T. Hack. J. T. Hack's theories. Okay, then uh, we also have example of example of even stroller. Stroller is an example, and we can also add a pink as a, a process theorist. Ha, Shwam bhi hai. Names bahut saare hain. You need not know all of them, but ठीक है. Shwam. हमने कल किया था ना श्वाम एंड लीची टॉक्स अबाउट दे टॉक अबाउट टेन फैक्टर्स उसमें टाइम भी है बट टाइम इज नॉट द मेन कंट्रोल श्वाम टॉक्स अबाउट टाइम इन द स्टडी स्टेट कंसेप्ट व्हिच इज नॉट लाइक व्हाट डेविस हैड टॉक्ड अबाउट ओके सो श्वाम टॉक्स अबाउट टेन फैक्टर्स टॉम श्वाम आल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट टाइम बट इन वेरी स्मॉल स्केल this this is called as steady state time not over millions of years not over billions of years the way davis talked about so these are the four or five examples of equilibrium approach lekin agar do main puchna hai these two are the best examples of equilibrium theory gk gilbert jt hack okay and stroller so gilbert says what likh lo aap gilbert says that landforms are the balance between between driving force and resisting resisting force driving force is basically upliftment resistant force is the load the load and the hardness of the rocks its the balance is what gives us the landforms gilberts ideas landforms are a balance between driving force which is upliftment yes upliftment and and resisting force which is load hardness you are right navnath super incumbent load upar se jo weight hai what does jt hack say jt hacks hack says that landforms are are the product of the balance between erosion and rock hardness this is also referred to as lithological control of landform development of landform development what did stroller talk about stroller talked about uh, slopes are adjustment for efficient removal of sediments Please keep writing, okay? Equilibrium theory. Me, what does Gilbert say? What does J. T. Hack say? And what does Stroller say? Gilbert says landforms are the balance between driving force and the resisting force or the load. J. T. Hack says landforms are the product of balance between erosion and rock hardness. Stroller says slopes are adjustment for efficient removal of sediments. इसका मतलब क्या है इफ देर आर मोर सेडिमेंट्स वी विल हैव स्टीप स्लोप्स इफ देर आर लेस सेडिमेंट्स वी विल हैव जेंटल स्लोप्स इफ देर आर मोर सेडिमेंट्स विल हैव स्टीप स्लोप्स बिकॉज अगर सेडिमेंट ज्यादा है टू रिमूव द सेडिमेंट्स द स्लोप्स विल बिकम स्टीप ओके सो इफ द सेडिमेंट्स आर लेस द स्लोप्स नीड नॉट रिमूव सेडिमेंट्स सो दे कैन बी मोर जेंटल एक this one interpretation right or wrong no theory is entirely correct no theory is entirely wrong okay there are complex studies 
one theory cannot necessarily uh, you know you know uh, will uh, take care of all explanations landforms as product of interacting endogenetic and exogenetic so isko ek answer bana lena and how do you want to end the answer now this is like a formula answer anybody can tell us how do you want to end the answer i would like you to read a, a paragraph it's a very interesting paragraph when i was reading and getting uh, a bit of you know doing my preparation uh, i would like you to read this passage uh, page number uh, take out savindra singh please uh, i hope you all have this book with you savindra singh le aao please i i know i told you khuller but isko bhi nikal lijiye it's a nice uh, a reading a very nice smart intro and conclusion ke liye open up page number 57 page 57 nikalo please theories of landform development okay uh, look at the uh, second column okay look at second column dekho uh, do you realize one thing that geomorphology mein there are many theories do you all realize this thing i'm sure right there are many theories in geomorphology okay so davis model peng's model shams model young's model lc king's model pura range called as equilibrium model okay huge number of models why why do we have so many theories in geomorphology the answer is that landforms and uh, geomorphic processes are very complex okay it is difficult to accommodate everything into one model ab kahin na kahin kuch na kuch assume karoge right Okay. somewhere you will try to accommodate one concept and then the other and then look at the factors volcanism earthquakes tectonics isostasy rock structure climate as a factor human aspects vegetation so it's very complicated that is the reason why when you want to make a simplifying model it's not possible that you can include everything into one model कंप्यूटर बेस्ड मॉडल भी बनते हैं एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस थ्योरी दिस एप्रिसिएशन सेज देखो एक बार पढ़ो यहां पर इट सेज दैट सेकेंड कॉलम द पैराग्राफ क्वेश्चन अराइज एज टू वाई नो सच कॉमन थ्योरी कुड बी पॉस्टुलेटेड विच कैन बी एक्सेप्टेबल टू मेजोरिटी ऑफ जियोमोर्फोलॉजिस्ट एंड कैन बी अप्लाइड इन डिफरेंट इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन जी के हिगिन्स हैज ओपाइन दैट it would seem that one reason we lack acceptable theory of landscape development is that there's so much diversity of opinion about structure process form as there are diversity among structure process and landforms themselves okay no landform bhi varied hai and interpretations bhi varied hai factors are numerous and opinion about the factor also numerous there are many factors and the opinion about the role is also numerous so itne diversity mein it says it is thus obvious that there is a spatial and a temporal variation in the factors controlling the genesis and development of landforms okay that is geological structure tectonic events climatic element geomorphic processes vegetal cover pedological characteristics and human interference with physical environment through his economic activities landscapes are more complex than simple in spite of the fact that complexity of geomorphic evolution is more common than simplicity landform development has been related to single causative factor by individual geomorphologists according to cg higgins the controversy regarding the theories of landforms development has surfaced because of the fact that the theories are oversimplified he further categorically stated that there may be no definite theory or geomorphic system that can fit all landscapes schwam has also corroborated the idea of higgins and he has aptly remarked most models of geomorphic evolution are over simplified and therefore they are unsatisfactory for short term interpretations of landform change therefore a very complex denudational history of a landscape may be geomorphologically normal samajh mein aa raha hai ye essence use karo in your conclusions you can use this essence 
that equilibrium theories are only one of the many interpretations of how landforms develop. But in equilibrium theory also, there are many variants. Now, let's see here. Okay, rock structure, koi baat kar raha hai, koi baat kar raha hai. About erosion, somebody's talking about role of upliftment, somebody talk about super incumbent load. So it is impossible to have one theory which can ultimately accommodate all viewpoints and explain all type of landforms. And that's important statement that in nature, complexity is more common than simplified one factorial process. Okay, so, so let the conclusion move to, in fact, this is a very nice conclusion for many answers in geomorphology. How processes add complexity, how the, 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 the factors add complexity, human act factors make it more difficult to interpret, there is climate and so on.